I'm Bill Cusack and I want to talk to you briefly about the meat monster with the internal firebox. Longer presentations are available if you go to our website PeoriaCookers.com. The meat monster is relatively small. It's about six feet long and it's about four and a half feet wide and it weighs about 1500 pounds and it's very easy to tow. The meat monster comes in many different colors. We've painted them school colors. Uh, this happens to be for the CEO of Caterpillar, Doug Oberhelman, and naturally Doug wanted it yellow with some Caterpillar decals. It also can come in masonry. And when we talk about the features, the main thing that I want to emphasize is that it's good for indirect cooking, like you see the whole hog up above, or it's also good for grilling either a few steaks or as many as 80 steaks and a few hot dogs. So it's easy to cook big and it's easy to cook small and you can cook direct or indirect. Does it work? Uh, briefly, Mike Wozniak, pictured right here in the center with his wife Beth, introduced the Meat Monster to competition in 2010 and in that year it won the Kansas City Team of the Year, the Jack Daniels World Championship, and also the Kingsford Points Chase. So three huge competitions. The Meat Monster is very effective. This is how the Meat Monster works. This is the charcoal tower. The heat comes out here. A close-up looks like this. So you get a tremendous amount of heat out of the bottom of the charcoal tower. This is a whole hog and we are capable of cooking a whole hog 225 degrees 18 hours without adding any charcoal and you do not have to move the hog and without any temperature adjustments over that period of time. And here's how it does it. First of all, uh, quarter inch plates of steel, two of them, and then two inches of insulation. So it is very, very efficient. Also we use a thermal couple which will hold the temperature for 25 hours plus we've cooked as long as 35 hours on it and basically it has a controller here you set the temperature threshold for example 225 degrees you put the temperature probe in next to your meat product and if it goes above that threshold it shuts the fan down and if it goes below the threshold it turns the fan up so it combines the good old flavor of charcoal with the new technology of uh, exquisite temperature control so with that, you essentially start the fire and set the temperature, and we can give you an idea of how long to cook different food items. So this shows 26 pork shoulders on the main rack here and what we call the third rack above. So the lower rack we are not even using, and we have 26 pork shoulders we're cooking for an occasion of 250 individuals. So typically what I do is I will use my cell phone to keep the time. I set the temperature so it's a, a time versus temperature. And again, on our website we can give you information on how to cook different food products. So this shows the pork shoulders well on their way. And you can either put the food products in aluminum pans or you can put a pans on the bottom of it or you can just clean the grease off from the bottom of the cooker but it makes it really easy to clean out if you line it with aluminum pans and then all you have to do is dump these pans and dump the ashes and you're done. So this shows four large New York steaks and in the other presentations we give you more detail but the point I want to make here is if you cook on the meat monster the way it's designed you'll end up with pink medium all the way through. In other words, you don't have like a red area here and then the gray area on the outside. It's top to bottom, pink, and absolutely delicious, and it's the way people uh, would like to order it. So in other words, you don't have dry edges. And if you choose, you can line charcoal up here, and I was doing this for a charity event, so we use pans down here to hold the products after we get done cooking them, and we can cook a tremendous amount in a short period of time. This slide was sent to me by John Christie of Minneapolis. John cooked 80 steaks in 35 minutes for a corporate function he was catering. 
and this shows indirect cooking of salmon and we use charcoal and charcoal sawdust to flavor it and you can look here at the onions on top of the salmon and get an idea of how much smoke flavor you have so the, the whole message here is control of temperature control of flavor these are chickens and again depends on how much smoke flavor you want but this shows them cooking in an aluminum pan so it's very very easy to clean out when we're done and again time versus temperature this is a turkey we cook it a little hotter at 325 degrees you can cook even as much as 400 or 425 degrees with the meat monster typically most people will set it at around 225 250 degrees this is a whole hog and one thing I want to emphasize here is that we have a lot of moisture coming off and that's because the meat monster is insulated so well it's so efficient it burns very little charcoal which means it has very little airflow so it cooks everything in a very moist fashion and this shows a little battery power so if you're if you're not near uh, 110 you can use this and this is a whole pork loin the point I want to make here is you can see it glisten with moisture because the meat monster holds the moisture and here we show Matt Becker and this speaks of the capacity of the meat monster he's cooking briskets here so Matt cooked for a wedding of 500 he put a huge load of briskets on at 5 a.m. took them off at 1 p.m. and then put on pork loins from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. and he cooked for 500 people so it gives you an idea how many people you can cook for with the meat monster and we always thank people for sending their information this came from Richard Milks and it just shows the versatility of using the different racks and different configurations of how to cook with a meat monster so thanks to all the meat monster customers who have sent me photos and thank you for watching this presentation